Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm here with Bobby Knight, Senior Vice President uh, for Strategic Sales and Delivery for Modus. And we wanted to talk about how to build your career in IT. I get so many people, young, older, asking me, how do I get started in this? So where would you recommend someone you know, start down that path of becoming an IT professional? First of all, I think, Chris, you have to have an interest in it, right? So uh, IT is an exciting field if you enjoy it. Right, it can be, it can be, <laughs> and it's can be a, really, really rough if you don't. Right? I can imagine. Um, there's just all kinds of ways to get started in IT. You know, it, it, through formal education, through um, just keeping up with technology, with all the different avenues that are out there now. Listening to podcasts like yours, uh, listening to uh, you know, picking up the right magazines and reading about it that way. Um, you, you never know how your career is going to start in IT. And uh, sometimes I think you just have to sort of uh, always be aware of what else is out there. You know, you could be sitting next to someone on a plane and uh, next thing you know, you, you know, you may have a job offer from that person. It's kind of how it happens. I mean, yeah. my, my career, even though it's not been specific in IT, it's kind of unwound that way. You know, one thing I have uh, really uh, figured out about the staffing business and, and getting a job, what that really is like, the best jobs are found by relationships. We have tools in place now and we have sort of arm's length restrictions around who you can or can't talk to. But it's really if you've got and if you've got a good reputation, you have a good relationship with somebody, they're going to tap you. I mean, I, I've got people in my organization that I've worked for. And I've got people that have worked for me at various different companies throughout the years. So would you recommend becoming super specialized in one area or more well-rounded? So, so there's really two different paths you can take there. Um, I, I think uh, the well-rounded path is, is really preferable. Um, you know, I ran a consulting organization at a, at a major integrator. And one of the things that I found in my best employees were the people who had that sort of well-rounded experience. Because when, even though we were, were selling a specific storage product, when you go into a customer's environment, it's multi, right? They've got uh, Windows, they've got Unix, they've got networking issues, they've got all kinds of ERP software. And so a person who really has a basic understanding of the technology, but can also speak to various levels of uh, different technology is also important. So does education end after the school day ends or you're done? You, you figured out Fortran, you can move on with your life. Technology, because it changes so fast, um, you're never done. And that's the thing I love about it is you absolutely get to continue learning, right? I mean, the new iPhone just came out. It, it, you know, not a major upgrade from the iPhone 4, but there's a lot of things you still need to learn about it. That's what I love about technology is it's always changing. It's always a learning opportunity. There are so many tools out there now, uh, things you can get on your iPad, things you can download, podcasts, whatever it is, to be able to just keep up with what's going on. Constant learning. Absolutely. And I'd imagine when you mentioned the iPhone, iPad, any of these devices, mobility has to be important with IT still. Yeah, so mobility is critical to sort of convey the, the new technology. Um, there are tons of apps out there to keep you up to date with uh, what's going on with technology. But yeah, I, also... think, I think I have about half of them on my <laughs> iPad. I'm not kidding. I've got like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And, and the, other thing, the other thing about mobility is as a, as a consultant, in order to build that well-rounded resume and portfolio of business, um, you really need to be able to move and pick up and, and take a job at different locations. You know, the unemployment rate today, I think, just came out. It dropped to 9%. Mm. Uh, 80,000 jobs were created uh, last month in October. But the real unemployment rate for IT professionals is probably less than 2%. Wow, that's, that's outstanding. So yeah. wh why would it be so low? The demand. The demand for IT talent is, is out there. All of these businesses that have initiatives that sort of put off in 2009, 2010 timeframe are really getting to that critical point where they need to start They need to start applying labor to those projects. So if you're looking for a job, be a geek. That's kind of the... <laughs> it's not a bad place to be. <laughs> you know, they, I, well, I graduated with a degree in English education back okay. in the mid-90s. And I, the, the needs of the workforce back then in terms of technology had to have been you know, dramatically different than what they are today. And I think I've probably moved you know, a, a generation or so uh, you know, beyond, and I think uh, kids who, or anybody who might be coming out of a, a college or an institution with a degree, um, you would have, a, a, I'd imagine, a different set of expectations and needs. How would you communicate, or how would you expect uh, communication to be different with someone of one generation versus another? 
So one of the things that we're seeing is the millennials, if we want to call them that, really like to communicate via text messages. They don't really want to talk to you on the phone. They want to communicate via email. And so being able to, to adjust your business model to communicate and attract the talent uh, that you want to get is, is through those communication channels. So in terms of getting the best job, where would one start? Because that's, of course, you always want to have the best job, but the best job seems to be relative. For sure. Um, the best job is, is typically not one that's posted, right? It's not one that's going to be out on the job boards. It's one that you hear about through a friend who knows somebody who's looking for somebody to do something. So, you know, one of the things I like to think about is always be interviewing. And it has to do with sort of, you know, building your reputation or building your own personal brand as you go throughout life because that's what's going to get your next job and probably going to get your best job. And we were talking about that even before the interview. I mean, it's, that's how I got my job at Tech TV. Sure. I'd written a book and shared it, and they said it was the day after I did my first – it was a webcam interview. And uh, they called up and said, hey, do you want to host a TV show? And I'm like, wow, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> it, it, that was kind of the answer. I'm like, well, let's, let's talk. But I, I think the answer is more yes. And Yeah, but it, it, it unfolded largely because of uh, the networking. You know, mm -hmm. it, it not just – I mean, granted, that was more of a, a social networking, you know, over you know the right. distance. But even getting out of the house sometimes and, and, get, and mixing with people can change your life. You know, much like much like coaching, it's a fraternity, right? You see these coaches who get fired from from one job and go end up being an assistant somewhere else, or get a college job, or jump back and forth to the pros. The IT community is very similar in that people have reputations and people know that hey, if you've worked at this company, you've got you've acquired these skills or this company has an excellent training program and you know you're gonna get a qualified candidate for that job. So it, it really is pretty important to always stay stay up to date with the technology. You bring up a you know an interesting uh, phrase, a personal brand. And I would never have imagined uh, you or anybody bringing that up in relation to being an IT professional. How do you see that playing? Well, a lot of things contribute to your personal brand. I have a daughter that goes to CU, and one of the things I tell her is make sure her Facebook page is not ridiculous uh, because she's going to be graduating soon and looking for a job. Um, keep your LinkedIn profile up, up to date. Uh, get recommendations through that. I mean, all the sort of things that a professional does, right? It, uh, IT is really a profession. And I think people need to treat it as such in order to be successful. So watch your comments on YouTube if you plan on going in, because you never know. I mean, there are I know, there's software and yeah. there are companies who are dedicated yeah. to spelunking and getting all that information you didn't think was associated with right. you and servicing that to a potential employer. And there goes your opportunity. I mean, and this is the thing, uh, you know, Twitter as a landscape and beyond LinkedIn or, or Facebook seems to be a really good way of not just connecting with people, but surveying needs mm -hmm. in the industry. And I can't imagine it not being used as a, as a tool for discovery as someone who may want to develop a career in IT to see where they would want to go. And so if, you, and if you're considering hiring somebody for a position, go out and look at their Twitter. You can look at their profile and see who they're following and who follows them. It tells you a lot about a person. Ah, so how many lists they're on that sure. are related to their alleged area yeah. of expertise. I mean, that's, you know, I'd never thought about using Twitter like that before, but wow. Watch your Twitter account, watch your LinkedIn, watch your Facebook. Well, it's, but it's very, very important to keep that in mind as you, you, know, you start to develop this career. Even if you've been entrenched in a, a career for years, these are tools that other people are using. And if you're not using them, you're falling behind. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Bobby. All right. Thanks.